Hello friends, welcome to Science With Me. I'm Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are working on our Scratch Mario game. If you haven't checked out our other tutorials on YouTube, make sure to check out the other three which will get you to where we are at here. And if you'd like, you can always support us at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. So we have a Mario who can run and jump. We can watch him run and jump. And we can get some coins. We have this great coin counter. And we can also come over here and we can kill this Goomba if we'd like to. But Mario games usually have a counter, so we are going to build on our coin counter and we're going to make a timer for ourselves. Now to do that, I'm actually going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to right click on my ones here and I'm going to duplicate it. This is really handy because it duplicates the code for me and I could write this as time seconds and I can put a one here because this is going to be our ones portion of the seconds, not the tens portion. We'll have to do the same thing that we did with our coins where we have a ones and a tens and even a minutes. All right, so when I am doing the ones, I can take this and what's great is if I create a variable, we'll call it timer. We wanna make sure it's available for all of our sprites so our tens and our minutes can get it too. A lot of this is gonna be the same except for instead of counting the coins, I'm actually gonna be counting the timer. So we can take all of these coins out right here and we can replace them with our new timer variable. And that's just a quick and easy way to get this to come together. Now make sure that you've got all of your timers in there, you don't have any blank spaces. And now we are going to also create some other code to actually create the timer that we are counting. So when we start the game, we're gonna wanna set our timer to zero. That's always good practice. So let's set our timer to zero. And then we're gonna count forever. So we're gonna grab a forever loop right here. And forever, we're gonna wait one second. And then we're gonna change our timer by one. Make sure that you change the timer and not the coins by one. Now, of course, when we count in seconds, after we get to 60 seconds, we actually have a minute. So we don't wanna count up to hundreds or anything. We really wanna count up to 60s. And what we can do is we can have an if loop here and we can check to see if our timer is equal to 60. So if our timer is equal to 60, well then we need to set our timer back to zero. So we'll set our timer back to zero because now we need zero seconds in that. But we also need to count minutes. So we can make a variable made for all sprites and we can call that minutes. And of course, with good practice, we're gonna set our minutes to zero up top. And then when we get to 60, we're gonna change our minutes by one. All right, so now we're all set up. This guy is going to count the ones of our timer. And we can move these guys over here. We'll hide them away after we practice. All right, so we do wanna move this. We can just click and drag it. We don't have any plans on changing the location of this, so it should stay put for all of time as we play this game. But if you find you do have a problem, you could always add a go to or a show type of a thing there. All right, so we've got the ones part, now we need the tens. So I'm gonna put this seconds and I'm gonna put 10 in there so that I know it's my tens part of my timer. And we're gonna have to make a few changes here. One thing is we don't need any of this startup information. So we can just drag and kill that. And we'll just drag all this out of our forever loop and we'll keep a forever loop and we're gonna bring in an if else and we're gonna check to see what the timer is. If the timer is less than 10, then we will have it so that it's always showing zero. So I can go to my variables, I can bring out my timer and if my timer is less than 10, then my tens digit should always show zero. So on my looks, I'll go to switch to costume and I want number zero. Else, if it's greater than 10, then I'm gonna switch my costume and I'm gonna use my normal, the letter of, and I'm gonna use letter number one of my timer. But remember, I always have to add one to my timer so we can bring out our operator and we can add the timer plus one. And that whole thing is gonna go over in here. All right, and so now my tens has showed up in the middle of the board. We can hit go and we can see that the one second is counting up. Just like what we wanted, that tens is still zero. 
And then when it clicks over to 10, this should come in and we should watch our costume change. Oh, and we didn't. So let's pause and see what happened there. So I'm not entirely sure why this switch costume is not working right now, but we can program around it. It's so much nicer like that. It might be working on yours. It worked on mine earlier. But what we'll do is we'll add another if else in our loop. So if it's not working for you, you can try this. And else if our timer is less than 20, we're gonna force it to choose the costume. I think something is happening with our switch costume. I'm not sure why that is, but if it's less than 20, we know that our tens digit will be one. And then what we can do is we can duplicate this block. And if it's less than 30, it'll be in the twos. And we'll just go down. We only have to go up to um, 50 because you're not gonna ever get above 50. So that's kind of nice or I guess 60. We can duplicate this, and if it's less than 50, we'll do number four, and then lastly, if it is less than 60, we'll show number five. And this last one really should actually be a plain old if loop. I don't like to leave things where they are just hanging out and empty, so I'm gonna pull this stuff over. Now yours might have worked, mine had worked earlier with that, but if you're, for some reason, it's not changing correctly, this should force it to change for us. So right now we're at number zero because we have nothing in our tens digit place. And then we'll be in a moment less than 20 and we flip up to one. So now we are counting correctly. And we'll put this guy up here. And then the last thing that we need is to count our time in minutes. So we're gonna do time and I'll delete this and I'll put in my minutes. Now this one is pretty easy to program because we're just going to display the costume that it is, assuming that we never go over 10 minutes. We can delete all of this and we'll have our forever loop and we are going to switch our costume and we'll need our operator as we do our minutes plus one. So we're gonna display our minutes and plus one right here. And we can plug that in there. And then we should see that it will pop up as we go up. Oops, I displayed the wrong digit in my tens seconds and that's okay. And now we see we have one minute and three seconds. I accidentally put number six in here. So we'll change that to number five. So it reads as fifties. And I can put this guy over here. And so I've got my one minute and 15 seconds. We could just add in a little sprite that has those double dots there. And we will have this lovely little timer that we can time. And we also have our coin counter that will count our coins for us, which is pretty great. Now in our next video, we will learn about how to make this scroll so that we have more than just this tiny little space to play with. And to make this look pretty, I am going to uncheck our minutes and our timer as ways to check things. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope you had fun with us. We'll see you next time as we learn how to scroll our character. Bye friends.